guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I did this Halloween look. And it is the guy from the Operation game. Thought it was really cool. The picture I saw was from this girl on Instagram named uh, Brittany Price. This was her recreation of it. I decided to take it a step further and make it like my eyes is animationized. And the look off, I am going to add one of these hospital things to make it look like I'm, in op I'm getting operated on. Like, so yeah, I hope this look is inspiring. And I hope you enjoy watching. It was really fun to create, even though it was very frustrating and hard. I couldn't add like the names because like my arm didn't like reach up here like I'm not left handed so I couldn't like so I just cropped that part out but I mean it turned out fine either way. So yeah. You got the little piece, the little tweezer part. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed watching and I'll see you in my next video. Bye. So starting off I'm taking this wet acrylic paint and just putting that on a little piece of paper that I have. And then I'm gonna be kinda mapping out where the eyes are gonna go and basically I'm just closing my eye and then drawing like a like like a oval almost but like half of an oval just to draw like the eyes and it helps me if you follow like a reference photo so I just looked up a photo of the operation guy and I'm just repeating the same thing on the other side filling the white spot in and while that's drawing I'm taking this red acrylic paint and I'm going to be doing the nose and basically it's just like a red circle on your nose that's going to act as like the little motion detector thingy that tells you when you hit the side. Now I'm taking black acrylic paint and I'm going to be drawing the, like, I don't know if it's the pupils of the eyes, the black part. This is just like a smaller oval-ish shape. Repeating the same thing on the other side. And then once that is done, I'm going to be go back, going back in with the white acrylic paint from before and I'm going to be kind of like drawing in that actual eyeballs which are just like little white dots now I'm taking the same black acrylic paint and I'm gonna be outlining the eyeballs just to help them stand out and become more cartoonish And here's where I ran into a problem. I realized that my eyebrows were going to be in the way, so I put a little bit of glue on top of them. And then I used some face powder, I think. And then I used that to just take off the tacky layer of the glue. So I'm patting that all over the eyebrows. And then I'm going to be taking my Dermablend foundation. <laughs> I couldn't think of the name. The foundation and putting it over the eyebrows and then patting that in and then adding a layer of powder over top of that. And here I just kind of had to touch up the eyeball outline because it got covered up. So I'm just doing that and then I'm going to be applying a little bit more powder and then going in to draw the eyebrows. And his eyebrows are like really, really arched. So again, just follow a reference photo. They're pretty round at the beginning and then they're like pointy at the ends. So I'm just following a reference photo and drawing this on with some paint. Next one with some black acrylic paint, I'm just going to be drawing his like markings on his cheeks and under his chin and drawing in his mouth. Basically it's just like a frowny face with like a little bit of his tongue so I'm just using my upper lip to be part of the mouth and then my lower lip was going to be like his tongue. So I'm just using black and red acrylic paint for this.
Next one I have my black crayon eyeliner. I'm going to be drawing where my brain freeze is going to go. And once I have like the shape of that, I'm going to be filling that in with a red acrylic paint. And then I'm going to be going over that with a red powder, like eyeshadow, just so it doesn't like get all over. So now I'm mixing black and white to create a gray to kind of create the rim of the little brain freeze piece. I don't really know, but that's what it looked like in the picture. So that's what I'm doing. And then once that dries, I'm going to go in with the white paint and I'm going to be drawing like the actual little piece that you pick up in the operation game which is just like an ice cream cone which is the brain freeze. Now going with the face paint I'm going to be taking the red and I'm going to be drawing the Adam's apple which is kind of like an off circle shape and then the heart is a heart and then the wishbone is kind of like an like a horseshoe almost it's like a really weird shape but once I have that filled in then I'm going to be going in with the gray paint from before and I'm going to be outlining the shapes. Next going with the white paint, I'm going to be drawing the actual pieces of the game, which are the Adam's apple, the broken heart, and the wishbone. And again, follow reference for the shapes. Pretty self-explanatory, you just follow the shape that you already made and fill it in a little smaller. Next, going back in with the red paint, I'm going to be drawing the little like tweezer part, which is just kind of like a twisted line, and then the tweezer part, which it helps if you follow a reference photo, which is just kind of like a little, I don't know, rectangle shape with little prongs on the end, which I use gray paint for, and the little darker pieces on the end for the pointy part. And I'm just adding a little white paint for highlight, and then I'm taking my Morphe Picasso palette and I'm going to use the black to do the shadow of the tweezers which just really helps to bring it to life and make it look 3D. Next I went in with a little bit of black to outline all the pieces. Now I'm just touching up a little bit of mistakes that I made and adding a little bit of shading. And here's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching and don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you want to see more videos like this in the future.